People are interacting with your brand on all sorts of other sites in forum posts and comments and messages. And this traditional dark funnel is really hard to track, but it's possible. I'll show you how in this video. So in this video, I'll show you how you can unify data across Reddit, YouTube, Medium, Stack Overflow, Twitter, LinkedIn, etc. All of these offsite touch points that your community is interacting with your brand in and unify those into a single interface so that you can stitch together data from different channels and define criteria for each stage of your dark funnel. And we'll build this dashboard which shows you three different stages for our dark funnel at Common Room. Let's dive right in. Let's start by pulling in some data from Twitter, Stack Overflow, and LinkedIn. You can follow along by going to commonroom.io and selecting Get Started for Free. The first thing you'll do after setting up an account is choose the sources where your users are engaging. And I'll jump into my account and show you what it looks like to pull in some data from GitHub. Just click Connect GitHub and Authenticate GitHub and select Repos. Then you can choose your GitHub username and select which repositories you want to share. And if you have two-factor authentication turned on, just plug that in. And once you're verified, you can confirm the dialog allowing Common Room to start syncing data out of your GitHub and into the Common Room instance. And you can connect LinkedIn by following more or less the same process, just plugging in your admin panel link into the LinkedIn dashboard and authorizing LinkedIn to share data with Common Room. Awesome, great success. Now let's jump into a slightly more built out account and walk through how we can start mapping out the stages for our dark funnel. So when Common Room connects to these different sources, it will sync the data from those sources and try and unify user profiles and identities across those sources. These profiles are from synthetic data and not actual PII of real people. Let's take a look around. Here in the members section, we can see a whole bunch of different user profiles and we can organize them by something called impact points, which is an aggregation of different activity across different platforms. And we can see that these identities are also associated with different organizations. So now we have user interaction data across a whole bunch of touch points and platforms all in one place, unifying activity and identity. For this example, we've set up three stages in our dark funnel, active, aware, and dormant. Active users are ones who have more than 10 impact points and have been active in the last 28 days. Whereas aware users are ones who have been slightly active in the last three months, and dormant users are ones that we haven't seen in more than three months. So let's take a look at how we can implement this in Common Room. To do this from the members page, you can click add filter and then select impact points and an active between filter. After setting up these filters, we can spot check the results to make sure that we have some data that generally matches our intuitions. So let's just do the same thing for the aware and dormant stages and check those as well. And as we would anticipate, there are consecutively greater amounts of people moving from each stage from active to aware to dormant. So the next thing we want to do is create a segment which will allow us to automatically track and move these users between the different stages based on their activities. To do this, click on the segment section on the left hand side, click create new, and let's give ours a name, call it dark funnel A, and we'll add some status options which match the different stages of our dark funnel. So I'll type in active, aware, and dormant. So now we have our baseline segment with status markers for stages. And now we need to add a general set of users which we can filter down from to get our stages. So let's just say all users that have been seen in the last year. And we also want to exclude some of the data from current users and other data sets. And lastly, we'll exclude our internal team members and current customers. So now we can save this segment and we're ready for the next section where we'll be able to automatically tag users and set their stage based on their activity. Now we can set our criteria for each of these stages, starting with active. And here we'll implement the same filter that we used a moment ago. We'll save this and Common Room will look at our segment every day and then tag the users that meet the active criteria with the active status. And we can implement the awareness and dormant stages in the same way. 
And now we have a fully built out segment with the three stages of our dark funnel. And you could customize any of these filters and stages to match your business needs. And from here, you can drill down into your community members and see which members are in which stage really simply. And finally, you can view the different organizations associated with members in each of these stages. And set up notifications as new members are added or their status changes in this segment. You can also download this segment as a CSV for importing into other tools and share it with others. Thanks so much for watching and I hope this was helpful for you. You can find us online at commonroom.io or follow us on Twitter at commonroomhq and please leave a comment or question in the comments below if you have one. And until next time, see you soon.